Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, iTechnologic Hub. In this video I will show you some basic networking commands which are most essentials for everyone. These are some basic networking commands. These commands are mainly used for getting system information and troubleshooting networking problems. Let's start to see these commands one by one. Ping command To execute these commands on computer, we need a command prompt. On Windows 10, type cmd in the search box to open a command prompt. The ping command allows you to test the reachability of a device on a network. Pinging a host should return data packets. If the data packets are not returned you know there is a problem with your network connection. We can also use ping command with IP address. There are various options a user can use with the ping command. Let's see an example. This ping command option will ping the target until you stop it by pressing Ctrl C. IP config command The IP config command displays basic IP address configuration information for the Windows device you are working on. In fact, the command will display information for every network adapter that has ever been installed on your system. The general information includes IP addresses for both IP version 4 and IP version 6, the default gateway, and the subnet mask. IP config has a number of switches. You can see the most common switches on the screen. Let's see an example. IP config slash all. Displays more information about the network setup on your systems, including the MAC address. Host name command. Hostname is a very simple command that displays the host name of your machine. This is the name your computer uses to identify itself to the other devices and servers on your local network. In this case, host name of my machine is iTechnologic Hub. Get Mac command. Get Mac is another very simple command that shows the MAC address of your network interfaces. ARP command ARP stands for Address Resolution Protocol. ARP command displays entries in the Address Resolution Protocol cache which contains one or more tables, that are used to store, IP addresses and their resolved Ethernet physical addresses.
To get useful information from the ARP command you must provide a parameter. The most general parameter is hyphen a or slash a, which displays current ARP cache tables for all interfaces. NS lookup command. NS lookup stands for name server lookup. It is a network utility command used to obtain information about internet servers. It provides name server information for the DNS. Netstat command. The netstat command displays active TCP connections. There are various options a user can use with the netstat command. Let's see an example. This command is used for displaying information about TCP and UDP connections, and ports. Treeset command Reset command is used to trace the route a data packet takes before reaching its destination, and displaying information on each hop along the route. Each hop of the route will display the latency between your device and that particular hop and the IP address of the hop. Path ping command. Path ping command combines the ping command with the tree sit command. It provides information about network latency and network loss, at intermediate hops between a source and destination. As you can see, the path ping command provides more detail than neither ping or treeset can provide, such as latency reports and statistics on packet loss.
root command. In IP networks, routing tables are used to direct packets from one subnet to another. The root command returns the routing table, and the user can make changes by commands such as root add, root delete, and root change, which allows modifying the routing table as a requirement. To print routing table, just type root print. System info command. The system info command displays a detailed list of configuration information about your system. It displays list of information, like host name, the product ID, the type and number of processors, RAM configuration, network card details and installed hotfixes. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video please like, comment and subscribe my YouTube channel.